Good morning. Today is Sunday, the 29th of November. It's the first Sunday of Advent. So it's the very first day of the Church's New Year and we're in Lectionary Sunday Mode B and we mainly the Gospels of Mark. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, to resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Isaiah, it's towards the end of prophecy, the chapters probably coming from the time when Israel, Israel is back in his homeland after being away in, um, in exile in Babylon, but they're looking forward to freedom and the coming of the Messiah. And so we get marvellous phrases like, Oh, that you would tear the heavens open and come down. At your presence the mountains would melt. And also phrases to show the relationship between God and his creatures. Yet, Lord, you are our Father, we the clay, you the potter, we are all the work of your hand. The word of the Lord. Second reading is from the opening of the letter of Paul to the Corinthians, and it's all about their expectation, their waiting. I never stop thanking God for all the graces you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in so many ways, especially in your teachers and preachers. The witness to Christ has indeed been strong among you, so that you will not be without any of the gifts of the Spirit while you are waiting for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. And he will keep you steady and without blame until the last day, the day of our Lord Jesus Christ because God by calling you has joined him, joined you to his son Jesus Christ and God is faithful. The word of the Lord. The gospel, the gospel of Mark, and it's about this expectation of the coming of the Lord and what we must do as we wait for on the Lord's coming. Jesus said to his disciples, be on your guard, stay awake, because you never know when the time will come. It's like a man travelling abroad. He has gone from home and left his servants in charge, each with his own task, and he has told the doorkeeper to stay awake. So stay awake, because you do not know when the master of the house is coming, evening, midnight, cockcrow, dawn. If he comes unexpectedly, he must not find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we start a new day in the new year of the Church's lectionary, in the Church's liturgy. And the next four Sundays are the four Sundays of Advent as we prepare for Christmas, the great feast where we celebrate the birth of Jesus, Son of God, God made man, God becoming one of us. This first Sunday the emphasis is on being ready and we hear the various comparisons, like the, the servants waiting for their master's return. I was trying to think of modern examples. Um, is it like being ready for an exam? Not really, because for an exam you can do further swatting and get more knowledge. The nearest I could think of was, it's a bit like somebody who runs their own business, knowing that the end of the tax year is coming. And the key thing is, each day, to make sure you log all your sales and all your, pro, uh, all your income so that when that day comes, no matter when it comes, um, you've got all your accounts up to date. I don't know if that's a good comparison. But what I am thinking is, it's not as if we would say, oh, we've got 53 days to go, so I can, I can postpone till tomorrow. The whole point of what they're saying, stay awake, is that make each day the decision day this is, it could happen any time, so I'll pr pr say to myself it could happen tomorrow, therefore to make sure I'm ready today. 
and that means today's decisions are the ones that matter. And as long as we've got that attitude of mind, today's decisions are the ones that matter, that's how we stay awake. Am I looking after my neighbours? Is there somebody in my family I should make up with? Am I giving enough time to prayer? Am I spending enough time on reading books that inspire me, scripture, spiritual books, lives of the saints? Those sorts of things where we say, what's my day-to-day -day life like? Am I somebody who is ready for whenever the Lord should come? So in this time of uh, Advent, all the bidding prayers will always say things like, come Lord Jesus, come, because it's a sign that we're getting ready for Christmas. We turn now to our bidding prayers. So the response is, send us your loving kindness. Father, you have given us the grace of looking forward to the coming of your Son. Send us your loving kindness. Bring us to life, Lord. May we be the servants found watching when the Master returns. Send us your loving kindness. Send your Son to those who wait in hope. Let no man search for you in vain. Send us your loving kindness. Bless us as we work. Give us faith until the end when your Son will come in glory. Send us your loving kindness. Father, we praise you for the presence of the Spirit in our lives making men and women bearers of your message and your purpose. Send us your loving kindness. We pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Grant, Almighty Father, that when Christ comes again, we may go out to meet him, bearing the harvest of good works achieved by your grace. We pray he will receive us into the company of the saints and call us into the kingdom of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day, have a good week, all the best.